the whole reason I got interested in Alexi Thymia was because I know the problems that it causes with regulating emotions. I know that if you have Alexi Thymia, you're, gonna, you're not gonna be able to control your emotions. Also, if you have Alexi Thymia, you're not gonna be able to participate in therapy. Because if you can't talk to a therapist about your emotions, if you don't know what emotions you're having, or how to label them, or how to discuss them, or how to describe them, that's a problem. So I got into this as a way to actually help with emotion regulation, especially anger and aggression. Because of this problem with alexithymia and people with brain injury, we have created an intervention to target this problem, to help teach people with brain injury emotional awareness, to give them the vocabulary to label and describe their emotions, to know the difference between the different emotions that they are feeling. And it's still early on in what we're doing, um, but the research is showing to be very promising that just through teaching them to be more aware of their emotions, we're actually improving their emotional control, including their anger and aggression being less after participating in a therapy that teaches them how to recognize their emotions. The very act of being able to put a label on your feelings, that helps to reduce that negative, negative emotional experience. Because if you think about it, our emotions come from that reptilian part of our brain, right? Kind of the limbic system. And when you think about controlling your emotions, you hear about kind of the prefrontal cortex helping to put the brakes on what's going on with the limbic system. So what we're doing when we think about our emotions and we put a label on it, it's actually engaging a cognitive process. So it's engaging that prefrontal cortex and helping to put that, the brakes on that limbic system and that limbic emotional response.